What's up, everybody? Alright, so my buddy Kent Pool's live on Instagram right now. So I thought I would I would share. So if you go to YouTube, once the video posts, uh, you can choose which So we're gonna we're gonna watch Kent Pool on Instagram. the first video is going to feature Black Widow. Very awesome figure. Uh, versus our new spy master. He's talking about his video, so uh, I'm giving him some props. Mm. Dog in this uh, figure battle, but uh, I think it's going to be a fun video, kind of a different way of sharing these new figures <laughs> with everybody. So uh, we'll see. Hopefully, uh, everybody enjoys it, gets to have some fun with this uh, figure battle. So this you'll get to see. This is what it's all about. You gotta have fun. Comments, you, you gotta can have vote fun. On which figure you gotta you support like other people. And we'll also do a poll on Instagram, <laughs> and uh, you all weigh in and uh, tell us which figures are the best. Uh, if y'all are enjoying those style videos, uh, we'll see where we can go uh, from there. Got a few other ideas, but I think it's going to be a lot of fun. What's going to be funny is when he goes. Company are watching you. Always be watching. Clown baby one two three. Uh, yeah, Michigan fan. That's my guy, Bo. Right What's there. up, everybody? <clears throat> Night of Ren. What's going on? I missed a bunch of people. That girl, Cyanna. So welcome to Toy doing? Table Talk, sponsored uh, by Greg, and we got Kent Pool Live. Uh, collection is looking great. Thank you. I appreciate it. But yeah, I think it's going to be a Kent's lot my boy, of fun. man. I love Kent to death. Um, a new <clears throat> way to uh, showcase some figures. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, the video is actually. It's almost like he's here. Right now. So I uh, might be <laughs> up in like the next hour or so. Oh, he's grinning. I can't read what they're uh, saying. I think people are telling him what's going on. I think people yeah, are... definitely uh, have to check that out. <laughs> I wish, I yeah, wish he would tune it in so he could see it. I uh, originally from uh, just outside of Ann Arbor. Uh, Somebody chat him up and tell him that, that I'm actually that. showing his video on yeah, my, it's, uh, the live stream. Yeah, it's crazy time. Uh, work has been very, very this crazy. This is so funny. So stressed out people. If you haven't so just, uh, checked out Camp Pool, you gotta Camp Pool is the man. Trying to uh, give people a little bit of Oh, the Wolverine game. impression. I, yes. Uh, I have fun making the videos, so hopefully everybody enjoys them. Oh, sweet glue sniffer. But uh, definitely stay tuned. Uh, <laughs> the video will be going up probably about the next hour or so on uh, the YouTube channel Camp Pool Live. I'll uh, post on Instagram. If I knew he was going to do then, this, I would have uh, set my we'll little tripod up. I would have just had it like this. There we go. Instagram we'll do it like this. So you can uh, tell us which one's your favorite figure. So we'll have uh, Black Widow versus <laughs> Kent Spy does rock. Master. And uh, it might be, uh, might be a heck of a battle. <laughs> Uh, spy master I think he's going to be a little bit of an underdog but you never know maybe, oh, uh, maybe there's some, some spy advice. master fans <clears throat> out there so showing on the uh, what did he do started early it's not even like 7 <laughs> o'clock yet alright so I'm going to finish <laughs> rendering this video I'm going to go check out toy table um, you all uh Definitely he don't have to quit. Have an awesome evening. We're enjoying get ready. it. Action. Uh, get ready. Get ready. It's going to be Marvel Legends figure battle. Black Widow versus Spy Master. I'll see y'all uh, get over to uh, Toy Table if you're not already We're there. already here. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, that's what it's all about having fun you know 
just having fun, right? I mean, Kemp Pool actually, like, for three, four minutes, he took over the toy table. He took over the toy table like a champ. All right, let me go up through here. Oh, that is social distancing. Yeah. Jeanette, Jeff, what's up? Deathstroke Kid 2006. What's up, Stuart? Spare time. Dylan. Not a brand. What's up, Chris? Jeff. Uh, Daniel. Fabulous Disaster. Ellison Gamer. Galactic Adventures. Mr. Imagination. My boy Glue Sniffer. Oh, we're getting down there. We're getting down there. I saw Matias. Christina's in the house. What's up, everybody? Matias, we got to figure out a time to get you that item. You know? Clink93, what's up? What's up, Harold Green? We're just having fun, man. We let Kent pull. Kent pull took over, like, for, I mean, well, as soon as I saw him pop up on Instagram, he was going live. That's why I'm like, you know what? I got to go. I got to go. Got to hit that live button. Got to do it. Taco Tuesday. Tacos would be good. I had some homemade beef stew with cabbage tonight. Uh, Carbonized Black Series. Oh, yeah. I was actually, um, I know the Hasbro Pulse, the Carbonized Stormtrooper is sold out. Big Bad Toy Store still has it. Entertainment Earth still has it. Um, yeah, it's the stormtrooper looks really cool. Boba Fett looks cool. Mando looks cool. Um, so yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm working tomorrow. Working the rest of the week, brother. I was uh, I actually work from home today. I uh, had to go to the doctor this morning, get the old, uh, annual, you know, check up, and I will tell you something. This is not my most, this is not my best look right here, but literally when I went to the doctor, I had to put a mask on. That was their policies. So, uh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> oh, cool. You snagged the boba? Awesome. I, I, the boba's still up, like I said, on, um, on uh, Hasbro Pulse. The Mando... I thought was on Entertainment Earth. I don't see it on uh, Hasbro Pulse, but I thought I saw it on. I thought I saw a link somewhere. I'm looking. Um, let's see, but I haven't seen it yet. I, I know it's. I know I saw it somewhere. It's been crazy. Working from home, it's different. <laughs> but yeah, I would. Um, I'm definitely wanting to get that uh, Stormtrooper. And if I can figure out where the link is, I will go back and look at the Mando again. Because I think it had a green box. Oh, it's not up for pre-order yet? Okay. I thought I saw a picture of it somewhere. Where did I see the picture? It's got a green box, I think. The Troopers look good, though. They really do look good. And like I said, big... Big, big, bad toy store, entertainment earth. They got those. Um, and also, I mean, even the three and three quarter stuff looks pretty cool. I will tell you this. Big, bad is $2 more than entertainment earth. Entertainment earth is the same price as Hasbro's Pulse. But big, bad is uh, $26.99. My volume seems low. Well, I'm, I'm right here in the greens, my man. I'm right here in the greens. I'm in, I'm in the greens. I mean, you know, we could always do this if this makes it better, but that puts it in the yellows and reds. <laughs> uh, da, 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 da. What's up, Charlie? Yeah, the carbonized Boba Fett looks good. It does. It really does. I, you know, here's the thing. Maybe it's the Boba Fett that I was thinking, because it's got the green box. The box is really sweet looking on it. It is really sweet looking. I'll be the first one to say it, it looks good. It's not theoretical. 
Oh, uh, so yeah, I'll probably uh, here's here's what I'm gonna do. I might be uh, I might regret it, but I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna wait till in the morning. I'm not ordering it tonight. Yeah, Big Bad does. Uh, Entertainment Earth has it. Hasbro Pulse has Boba Fett. The only one that Hasbro Pulse doesn't have is the uh, the Trooper. But Big Bad and Entertainment Earth have the uh, the Trooper. Big Bad is two dollars more than Entertainment Earth. So yeah, going through comics will draw. Oh, I bet. Black Series. Ooh, yeah, that'd be cool. That would be cool. Hey, there he is. There's Jetta. Yep. Look there. He posted a link. So, yeah, like I said, the um, from Entertainment Earth, you're going to get it the same price as uh, Big, uh, Hasbro, but if you go to Big Bad, you're going to pay two bucks more. So, just saying. In June. June. We might be out of quarantine by June. Maybe. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? Um, Darth. How do you say that? Articula? How do you say that? How do you say that? I'm trying to figure that out. Where are you from, man? Where are you from? Tell me where you from, man. I dig the name. Boom. What's up, Jordan? Jordan scored some stuff today. He scored some three and three quarter stuff today. What's up, Spider? Chicago. Boom. You know what, my friend? I'm sending you this. DM me on Instagram, and I will ship this to you tomorrow. Boom. There you go. I, yeah, it just happened. Toy wheel is still not up. But you know what? Right there. I got your name on it. DM me. Instagram. Name. Address. City. Zip. State. All the other good stuff. And I will ship that to you tomorrow. Oh yeah, that just happened. That just happened. Um, yeah, I'm actually going to get. I'm definitely going to get the. I'm going to get a couple, or at least a couple of the stormtroopers. I think those look really, really cool. Uh, I'm not. I'm not sure about the Boba Fett yet. It looks cool, and the only reason I'd really want it, honestly, is I'd never take it out of the box because the box looks cool. Can't pull. You missed, man. You took over the toy table for like five minutes. You'll have to go back and watch, man. I had you live. I had the phone like right here. You were talking to everybody about your videos, everything, man. You took over the toy table for like five minutes. As soon as I saw you went live on Instagram, I went live and boom. You were talking to everybody. That's how it goes. Nice, Charlie. Oh, yeah, the 89 Masterpiece. Yes. Yes. Uh, yeah, it was, that was, Kent, that was, that was great, man. We sit here and we enjoyed you talking about your videos coming up and we had fun, man. It was awesome. You literally were right here. Let's roll put Bubba back up. Yeah, he's on pulse right now. If you want if you want the boba he is on pulse right now pre-orderable 24.99 pre-order here comes the link right there what's up Lance I think my batteries in my keyboards going dead I really do there's a very good possibility I've been I've been using it like hot and heavy today. Uh ba 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 French ooh French Nice 
do do do. Yeah, like I said, the the thing I'm really digging, honestly, is the box. The box and the figure itself look so good together that I think it would be cool uh, to have it. But since it's uh, not sold out yet, I don't know. Everybody's riding the Mando train. Everybody's riding that Mando train. Mando and the child train. They got the child fever, the Mando fever. Got it all. We all got it all. Um, but yeah, some of the 3-3 three, three core stuff looks good. The K2SO looks good. Oh, yeah. Uh, da, 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 what else? I'm just scrolling through. I had not really had time to look at a lot today. So. Oh, I know Matias is going to get it. Because he's a... He's a He's a boba nut. Because he wants this. Matias wants that right there. I know he does. He wants that Pez. He wants it. Magnet fishing's good. We actually, uh, this was funny. So I posted the pictures on, <laughs> on Instagram. Uh, I didn't film none of it because literally we went so late in the day that there was so many people uh, fishing, fishing. And I was trying to be like, you know, gentle with the 10 pound magnet. <laughs> uh, <laughs> good. I mean, honestly, I mean, I, I love the Mando stuff. I, I do. I mean, it's, it's great looking stuff. Um, I'm not going to get a lot of the child stuff. Me personally. I mean, I've got, you know, the pop. Yeah. Yeah. Josh, he's going live tonight too. At seven. Um, might get the black the black series version. I'm not getting any of the hot toys or none of that child stuff. Not in, I'm not into that. Looks really cool though. But uh, I got other things I spend my money on. Everywhere. <laughs> yeah, I know. I mean, it's uh, we got some helmets, man. We got some helmets. Jeff, man, I, I, I don't know what to tell you. I'm pegging in the greens. I'm borderline yellow right now. I don't know what to tell you. Let me look here. Let me check. Let me check. Let me check. Let me check this. Let me check. I mean, because like I said, we can, we can go. We can go blow. We can go way on up. Get that microphone. Get some deep down bass going. <laughs> I don't know what you hey, I don't know what you shaming me about. I ain't got nothing to be ashamed of. Oh, that ad's loud. Whoa. That was a loud ad. We can go way on up. Ain't nothing wrong with that volume. Ain't nothing wrong with that. It's cray cray. Um Boom, 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 boom. Thing is fly. What? <laughs> hey, you know what? It's technology. I mean, the pop's cool. I got the pop right here. I got the pop right here. I actually looked at it today. Right there. There it is. Right there. Boom. There's the pop. Right there. It's cool looking pop. Um. But again, it's not my, um, it's not, like I said, you guys know me. I'm not a completionist. I'm not a completionist by no means. I like things with helmets on it. Child don't have a helmet. So I don't need it. Like I said, I might get the Black Series one. Maybe, maybe, maybe. WR. <laughs> Hey, that was a good show, man. That was a good show. But yeah, it was. Um, oh, see there, see there, Kent. It was still there, right there. That's this is what we were seeing, Kent. Like right, like that. Uh, no, I am not getting the sideshow child. Nope, I am not. I will not be getting that. It looks cool though. Looks cool. I mean, here's the crazy thing. I'm really, here's the crazy thing. And I seriously thought about doing this. 
Hang on a minute. I'll be right back. So, you guys, here's the thing. I seriously thought about painting this green and putting a cloak on it and saying, hey, I got a child. Because <laughs> he's got the same ears. <laughs> Dobby got the same ears. They talk, Dobby got a big old nose. But you know what? I paint him green. And I, and I put that cloak on him that's a child that's a child right there <laughs> or if I wanted to I could take the green goblin 10 inch pop that's already green and it could be an angry child but now I'll joke it aside it's it's a good it's a good looking figure that Dobby I've seriously been, I'm, I'm no joke, I've seriously been considering doing that, painting him green. Seriously. Just as a goof. Uh, I don't even know why I bought that pop. <laughs> I truthfully do not even know why. Um, I bought it to take some photos of it, and I did that, but I'm not a Harry Potter fan. But ever since I've seen that, and ever since The Mandalorian came out, and ever since I saw The Child, I've been thinking about seriously green spray paint, put a brown robe on him, calling him The Child. <laughs> but hey, if I use the Green Goblin, he's already green. But he could be an angry child. Just say. Um, what, Nathan? Oh, man, you don't got to do that. Uh, yes. MJ Frog, yes, right? Oh, I need to see, I got more. I got to turn this back off. Um, you got to see, that's the thing. You got to have some fun. You know, you got to have some fun. Especially nowadays, man. You got to find something to have some fun with. <laughs> I just, I don't, like I said, it's it's one of those things to where it's like, why not? Right? Why not? I can just put it like in a corner somewhere and like just people barely see it and they think, Oh my God, there's a 10 inch child. <laughs> hey, Darth, don't forget to DM me. Don't forget. Um, let me make sure here. Yep, you're still in the chat. Um, what, Matthias? You gonna try to you gonna try to do some magnet fishing? Hey, it's fun, man. It's fun. It's um, it's fun. I'm actually gonna go again uh, this weekend. <laughs> nice. Did you? Yes, Kent. You won the fact that you was the head of the table tonight. You spoke before I spoke at my toy table. Just saying. Because you can't pull. Ice cream fish. <laughs> hey, Kent is a Marvel guru. He is a Marvel guru. A guru. Man, it's like insanely Mar he is Marvel Legends. He's Mr. Marvel Legends. That's what I'm saying. Use the force. That's a good one, Jordan. Yeah. Yeah. 
got the 1200 pound magnet nice uh that's that's the one that i've got um she's gonna weigh about 10 pounds man that magnet's gonna weigh about 10 pounds uh we actually this past weekend man we, we pulled some uh, rebar up out we actually pulled a, a horseshoe half of a horseshoe with the nail still in the horseshoe the first thing my wife said i hope there ain't no horse down there that was this was attached to yeah she said it and i was like that's a good point they should make a marvel legend of kent pool i mean there's two there's two names that are synonymous with marvel legends stan lee and kent pool that's it with marvel period just saying I will, Matthias. Uh, da, 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 da. So I was going through some of my stuff today, and I've been trying to figure out when you pack stuff up, right, or you're storing stuff, or you're rearranging stuff, and I know I'm not the only one that this has happened to, but I literally lost track of something that I found today that I've been looking for for like three months. And it was in a spot that I don't even know how it wound up there. Have no idea. Totally should not have been in that spot. But I have been looking for all my predators. And I haven't been able to find them. Now, Kent, when Kent was here... He saw how it had everything stored downstairs, blah, blah, blah. And when I was packing everything up, I couldn't find them to pack up. I'm like, well, wait a minute. I'm not losing my mind. I know I got them. Well, I found them. I found my preds. I found them all. I found my predators. And I'm super happy because I was starting to worry. I'm starting to worry about my predators. And they were in like three different boxes. And I found, to me, some of the best predators are these. These are my favorites. Uh, I've actually, now that I have found them, I actually want to pick up about two more of these because the way these things are done and the fact that they actually have... Um, they actually have some really awesome real world weapons and look that move I think it's time to have a squad a squad so in honor of finding my predators I'm gonna open this one up because the reason I haven't opened this one up because I couldn't find my other predators but now that I found my other predators I can open this one up Oh, they are the 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 neck of predators are. I think they're one of. The, I think they're probably personally some of the best neck of figures for me anyway. But this one is the um, fugitive predator that goes along with this bad boy that I have not opened yet either because I could not find all my predators. But now that I found them. Um, <laughs> hey, the thing about the Preds, the detail on these figures is insane. And I think that's the reason why I classify these as some of the better NECA figures is because of the uh, the detail on them. Yeah, this one, yeah. Right there, and this one, yeah. And like I said, I've been looking for them. I literally thought I'd accidentally throw them away. That's how bad it got. It literally, I was worried that I had mistakenly tossed them and that's how that's how bad it was 
Because the thing about it is, I didn't have them in that plastic container. I had them in a cardboard box. So yeah, that was my mistake there. But I mean, I mean, I don't know if you'll be able to see it that good or not. But check that detail out on this thing. Let's see if it'll. Come on, webcam. I mean, look at the color. I mean, that thing's sick. Hello? I thought I told you to silence. Thank you. Quarantine dream. All right, so we got that out. And also, Hey, I'm still going outside. I'm just not be able to do what I want to do. Like literally three weeks since I've uh, um, been on a hunt. This will be the third third week. I have not set foot in a Walmart, a Target, my box lunches. Get, you know, they're all freaking closed. GameStop has the, um, you know, get it at the door, which is cool. Let me tell you something else cool about Necker Predators. This little tray right here for the arm and the weapons. Little clamshell lid. Look at that. That's like hot toy stuff right there. All right, before I get carried away. I need to make sure all the little stuff comes with these extra hands right here. Let me put this in here so I don't lose it. Now I'm curious on where these go. Uh, I don't, like I said, I don't, I've not been to Walmart target nothing have not so this is interesting so we got these little knife blades here and oh there oh there they go oh right there oh yeah I'll text you Matthias yeah um, I saw that um, I'm actually still I'm 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 getting stuff. It's just like I said, I'm I'm ordering stuff online. Um, I mean, it's it's not as I'm not gonna lie, it's not as fun uh, as going out on a hunt because I like going hunting. Whether I get anything or not, I just like going on a hunt. And one day, one day, we will be. We'll be there. <laughs> Where you ship then, Greg? What? Where you ship then? I'm not sure if I understood that question. Right now, I'm trying to see how to get this silly blade in here. Oh, shop. <laughs> uh, like I said, I mean, um, I've picked up. I've actually got a video drop it tomorrow. I've done something that I have not done in a very long time. I decided to play Chase Roulette. Yup. And I ordered some stuff uh, along with that for uh, Rise of Skywalker. It's pretty cool. That video is going to be pretty cool. I hadn't, I hadn't played Chase Roulette in a long time. I, you know, Ren, I had someone else comment about that. I have never had. The only fragile NECA figure I've ever had was a turtle. I've never had any of my predators be fragile. They have stiff joints. Yes, they do. And you have to be um, systematic. You can't go at it like a gorilla. <laughs> you know, got to be gentle, a little bit gentle. But there we go. I mean, look, I mean, that thing is cool looking. Look at that detail. I 
have not ever seen I have not even seen that three and three quarter man though. But what I was looking for it is when all this quarantine and stay at home stuff started. And like I said, I have not been out at all. I mean look at I mean look at the detail on this thing. See that is sick looking. I mean, come on. You you have to appreciate whether you like predators or not. You have to appreciate the detail that NECA puts in their figures. I wish NECA would do some Star Wars stuff. I think NECA, if they ever did Star, if they did Star Wars stuff, can you imagine if they did a Mandalorian and the amount of detail that they put in these figures, what it would look like, or troopers or anything? It would be sick. I mean, these things are amazing. The only issue with NECA Predators is the feet. That's the only issue. If um, they're a little, you know, they're, they're flat, number one, but sometimes it's hard to get them to stand up with the feet. But, man, I'm telling you, I'd love to see NECA do, I'd love to see NECA do some legends. I mean, like I said, with with the amount of detail that's in this figure right here, the coloring, everything. I mean, look, I mean that that back armor right there. That is sick looking. No, the thermal predator. I, I wasn't a big fan of the thermal predator. It. I mean, I'm not judging it or nothing. It's just for me. Yes, NECA Star Wars would rock. It would, it would freaking big time rock, big time rock. So yeah, finally, now that I've got all my preds, I'm happy now. Now I just got to. Uh, the only thing bad about the <laughs> the preds, they don't fit the bags good. They're a little too tall. But I still bag them. I still bag and tag them. I'm not. I'm not opening, I'm opening this one up yet. That is going to take his own own shoebox. Neca Yoda. Hang on, man. Hang on. Hang on. Where's he at? Hang on. I know I'm not losing my mind. Get to the chopper. Get to the chopper. Get to the chopper. And again, NECA. Check us out. Let's see if it'll do it. I mean, that is Arnold Schwarzenegger, hands down, right there. Wicked cool. Wicked cool. And he's got a big old knife. Actually, I need to take that out of his hand. Put that back in his leg sheath. Boom. So, yeah, I am a big fan of, I am a big fan of these. It is. It is. Spot on. You're right. So, I'm happy. I'm happy that I found my predators. Now I've got them in some uh, plastic tubs. But uh, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put them in a... I need to get a bigger tub. Because these take up a little bit more. So, I'm going to consolidate them a little bit. A little bit more. Uh, the first predator, yeah, I actually I like that one, and I also like the predators, and I actually like the last one. I did like the last one, and I like the one with Danny Glover. I mean, it's I mean I just I like the movies. I like the movies, but the very 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 first one um, is my number one 
Um, Predators is probably my number two. And then the last one is my number three. And then Danny Glover's, yeah, so. The Australian Oak. Austrian Oak. Favorite 90s movie of all time? Oh, good Lord. I have no idea. Favorite 90s movie? Um, I like Good Will Hunting. I did like that one. Hey, I'd be all right with Arnold doing another Predator. I mean, why not? I've got that one too, Jeff. Uh, I mean, I mean, Sebastian Stallone's done a bunch of Rambo's, so why not? Arnold's doing Terminators. Let's do it. Um, let's see, Pulp Fiction. That was another one I liked. Good Will Hunting, though, I really liked. I like that one. I like movies that make you sort of think a little bit. Uh, yeah, I still like Die Hard. That's the greatest Christmas movie of all time, Christina Payne. Ever. <laughs> you know, I've never seen Blow. I've never seen Blow. Let me let me look here. Let me let me look here. Hang on a minute. All right, let's look here. Let's see here. Let's see here. No. No. Oh, I forgot about Clerks. Clerks, Kevin Smith. Forgot about that one. Um, Man, there was a lot of movies in the 90s. <laughs> Casino was a good one. Um, I mean, there's just, there's just tons of movies. Tons of movies that come out in the 90s. I will tell you one that came out in the 90s that I religiously watch every time it's on, and that's the Shawshank Redemption. Um, yeah, and, and <laughs> my wife literally, she's like, seriously, you want, you're going to watch that? Yes, I am. And I don't know what it is, but I just I love watching that movie. Uh, American History X, that was a, that was a movie. That was a, that one was out there. Uh, I'm just scrolling through Terminator 2. Uh, I'm just trying to see if there's any jumping out at me. Oh, you, you always have to have the classic, you know, Friday. Dang! You got to have that one. But yeah, Shawshank, I don't know what it is, but that movie is one of those that I just watch. Uh, Chris, I have not ordered that yet. I have not. I'm actually waiting until tomorrow morning. Yeah, that's 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 my, my that's my game plan. Green Mile, another good one. Another good one. But yeah, there's there's just I mean there's there's lots of good good stuff out there. Lots of good stuff. Uh, squirrel get busy living right yes get busy li living yeah I'm yeah frog that was mm -mm. seeing here Still, um, boom. Um, favorite WWE finish of all time. Well, since this the this person is probably the, my favorite wrestler, I'd have to go with that. Would be the Stone Cold Stunner. Because I like Stone Cold Steve Austin. That's my personal choice for that. 
Ten K, yeah, we're uh we're getting closer, closer. Let's see here. Four hundred and seventy away. Wow. Four hundred and seventy. Wow. That's uh that's pretty freaking cool. That's pretty freaking cool. Not lying. Um Oh, you can't you can't go wrong with Jane. You can't go wrong with Bond. Stone Cold said so. That's right. <laughs> and maybe it's because I'm bald. Maybe that's maybe that's the reason why. Stan, you like Stone Cold? Stan likes Stone Cold. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to think. I'm at, I'm trying to think what I'm gonna do for the 10k uh, giveaway. Um. trying to think I got something out there um, I don't know I don't know nice man of steel nice Ray Mysterio Ray Mysterio watching him do the rope stuff Austin when he would jump through the second rope spin around a couple, right, oh, Goldberg yep can't go wrong he's a good old southern boy Played for uh, University of Georgia, I do believe. Can't go wrong with that. That's right, right there. Boom. Um, I, I got out of wrestling years ago because it just got to be too much like a TV show. Well, it was on TV. It got to be too um, um, sensationalized, maybe. Too cartoonish. I don't, I don't know. It's always had the, those scripted moments and had the showmanship, but it seemed like it just went way up over the top. And, uh, nah, I just, I got out of it. I got out of it. Ooh, Lance, that's a bold statement. Now, if Kent Poole's still in here, Kent Poole, he might have something to say about that. But Shawn Michaels, he is a performer, no doubt. Oh, you can't go wrong with oh, Macho Man, Miss Elizabeth. You can't go wrong with that. I mean, as far as, um, as far as, like I said, as far as wrestling goes, um, I mean, I was really, um, back when Sting was Sting and Lex Luger and, you know, Shawn Michaels, I mean, Randy, Randy Savage, um, those those are the ones I really really um, really liked. Um, my all time favorite favorite was Legion of Doom, uh, the Road Warriors, Animal and Hawk. Um, I mean that was uh, LOD. That was you know that was my that's my thing. Too much drama. Uh, I think Hawk died back in two thousand and. 2000, 2002, something like that. But they were my favorite. Got to go with the rock. Hey, you know what? Got to smell what's cooking. <laughs> oh my God, Hacksaw Jim Duncan. Marching out with the two by four. Uh, Lance, you're making good points. You're making great points. I'm not taking nothing away from Shawn Michaels. I'm not. Uh, but I'll tell you another one that has some really good showmanship in the ring. And uh, it's North Carolina boy. Just saying. I'm not in Georgia. I'm in Tennessee. I'm close to Georgia. I'm only 20 miles from the line. Um, and that's the nature boy, Ric Flair. Just saying, he had a way in the ring too. I think he wrote the book on a ring presence. I think so, anyway. Uh, so I'm telling you, that's the beauty of the toy tape, man. We talk about anything. I don't care, right, Kent? Kent, answer this question. Shawn Michaels, Ric Flair. 
who was between them two the best ring performer? It's all on you, Kent. You're going to decide this debate. Kent is going to put the hammer down and settle this. Who was who was better, Kent? Nature Boy Ric Flair, Shawn Michaels. You got to pick one. That's right, Undertaker. Darth, don't forget to DM me on Instagram with your info so I can send you your, your box. I'm checking. Greg Cook Photography on Instagram. But yeah, Kent, this is on you, man. I'm putting you on the spot. <laughs> Just a... All right, G-Man, it's Ric Flair. Not Nick. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's boxing. That's the MMA. <laughs> I was not expecting that, Kent. I was not expecting that. Come on, Kent. You got to pick one. Come on. Pick one. Who was better? I'm putting you on the spot, my friend. I'm trying to remember, Jeanette. <laughs> I'm just saying, come on, Kent. I'm, I'm putting you on the spot, my friend. I'm putting you on the spot. I want you to make a tough decision. <laughs> That's all right, G-Man. <laughs> Mick Foley. See, there's a good one. Oh, Christopher's throwing out the Ric Flair. Oh. See, Kent's going, he's getting silent on us. He ain't even going to answer it. But I want him to answer it. I want him, because Kent knows his wrestling. Kent, Kent, he watches his wrestling religiously. Kent would win every time against me, Jeff. He would win because he would get me tickled and I'd, I'd start laughing and I wouldn't be able to do anything. I'm trying to remember, Jeanette. I'm trying to rem I know who Ted DiBiase is, yes. I don't know, man. I, I think Kent's got some... He's got some... There you go, right there, Kent. The tag team champions. Tag team. Um, but yeah, I mean, as far as, uh, I've always appreciate, here's the thing. And I still do appreciate, um, uh, wrestling. I appreciate it. These guys are athletes. They're actors. They're showing shit. I mean, it's literally all complete circle and what they physically go through. Um, I have mad respect for, for wrestlers. Mad respect for them. Because number one, you got to be physically able to do what they're doing. Number two, you got to be a great actor or actress, you know, to do the stuff on TV and your characters. And not to mention, you're probably on the road. Uh, Kent might actually know this as well. You're probably on the road a solid 300 days a year. To, you know, especially when you make the WWE and stuff. Uh, so, I mean, you got to respect the skills. You got to respect the talent. It's there. You got to respect it. And to be honest with you, they're, they're some of the best stunt people on the planet. Because if what they did 100% in real life was going on, yeah, you wouldn't make it 30 seconds, let alone six, seven minutes. Um, I only have one actual wrestling figure, and that's Stone Cold Steve Austin. That's the only one I have. But I will tell you this, the wrestling figures, especially here lately that I've seen, man, they got some great detail on them. My goodness, they got some great detail. Hulk Hogan, see? All right, Dar sweet. I just want to make sure I get it sent out to you, buddy. I just want to make sure you get it sent out. Because I will, I've already weighed it. I've uh, tagged it. Uh, I 
Oh wait a minute, I'm answering a I'm answering a chat. <laughs> Body slam that like button. Yes. Kent, uh, by the way, I need to have a conversation with you uh, tomorrow. Some sometime after work. So be prepared. Ultimate Warrior. Ultimate Warrior, man, was like a chihuahua on crack. Straight up. Do some ghost answers, Greg. <laughs> hey, I can do that. You didn't see what I did above the screens, though. <laughs> oh, my God. Ravishing Rick Rude. I have not heard that name in forever. See, that's the beauty of this channel. Man, we just talk about anything. It don't got to be toys. Owen Hart, you know. That was a great one. We'll talk about anything. I, I really, truthfully, don't care. I just, I like talking. May not like you after work. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, is <laughs> a Stone Cold intro. Ain't got no word to it. Nice, Jeanette. Uh, the wrestlers that I, okay, I've met uh, Big Bad Vader. I've met Lex Luger, Sting. Um, I actually did meet uh, Ric Flair once. They used to come to Chattanooga a lot. And me and a guy I used to work with, he had friends with someone that worked at UTC Arena. And so we always got like front row seats behind the announcer booths. I've actually got videotape of us. At, I used to record them whenever they'd, they'd come. And oh my God, it was. Yeah, here's the thing watching on TV is one thing, seeing it live, especially if you can get in that first section, like around the ring. Totally different experience. Yes, Jeanette. Rowdy Roddy Piper. Man could rock a kilt. Uh -huh -huh. But yeah, my all-time, all-time, all-time favorites are uh, the Road Warriors. That's, that's literally my favorite ones. What? <laughs> Mr. Rogers. I don't even know what to say to that. Oh my God. VHS? Yes. I've got some VHS tapes. It's insane. But I used to seriously, I would record it on a big O that was probably the size of this mat VCR. Massive thing. Set the timer. Go to the event. You know, and uh, oh my God, it was so much fun. Wow, Nathan. British Bulldogs. Jeff. Oh my, hey, I have not heard that name in forever. I have not heard that name in forever. I hadn't heard of Riggy the Dragon Steamboat. I hadn't heard that name in forever. And see, that's what, that's what I'm saying. If you go back, if you go back, so let's see here. So if you go back, so the Road Warriors, um, so if you go back to the early 80s, late 70s, early to mid 80s, I think that's when you really, really had some interesting times in wrestling. What? I didn't even know. I honestly, I've never looked for Legion of Doom figs. Hang on a minute. I'm looking right now. If I could type. Oh, let's see this. I got to see these things. What? I mean, they did, didn't they? Oh, my goodness. Oh, wait a minute. I just found some for $14. They're out of box, though. Oh, the, oh no, these don't even... These don't even have any articulation. Jimmy the... Hey, Jimmy Superfly Snooker? Yes. These actually don't look half bad. These are, uh, these are some 2003 uh, 7-inch Jacks wrestling collectibles. Interesting. But yeah, you start getting up. There's, they get up there. There's some for 45, 60. Yeah. 
Yes, they're there. Kevin Nash. Yup. The blue shoulder pads are. So I'm looking at those right now. 65 bucks on eBay for the Road Warriors Legion of Doom Battle Pack. They got like blue, the blue shoulder pads. The paint looks pretty good on them too. Oh, this one comes with two sets of shoulder pads. Look at you guys trying to get me to go down. And, here's some. Oh my God, 137 bucks. What? Wow. Wow. That's crazy talk. Who's my favorite James Bond actor? Uh, Daniel Craig. I mean, Sean Connery is classic. Classic. Uh, Roger Moore, nope. Nope. Roger Moore should never have been James Bond. Nope. 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 But yeah, Daniel Craig is, uh, I, I like him. Um, but like I said, Sean Connery, you can't beat him. I mean, you really can't. I mean, he is the epitome of James Bond. But uh, for some reason, I don't know what it is. I just, uh, I like the character. Um, I would have loved to see, I think it was Idris. Um, I can't ever pronounce his last name. Uh, they talked about him becoming a Bond. I thought that'd be really cool. Uh, yep, Rocky Johnson, yep. Uh, da, da, da. I've never been to WrestleMania, though. I've been to uh, uh, Monday Night Raw several times. Right, Man of Steel? Oh, Roger Moore? No. Roger Moore just, that just hurts. That just hurts my, that just hurts me. Pierce Bros. now Pierce, definitely a whole lot better than Roger Moore. Like a thousand times better than Roger Moore. Uh, but Pierce, he did a great job as Bond too. The thing I like, and I think it might be because of the fact that the Daniel Craig character, I think, is more closely uh, similar to uh, Sean Connery's. The way they, the mannerisms, the way they carried themselves, that they really, if you, if you watch, so I challenge you, if you like James Bond, watch some of the Sean Connery James Bond movies, any ones, watch at least two of them, and then watch at least two of with Daniel Craig, and the way they the suits fit them on their bodies, the way they talk, the way they walk, the way they move. They're very, very similar to each other. And I think that's the reason why, because I, I enjoyed Sean Connery being his Bond tremendously. Then when Daniel Craig came along, I thought, wow, this is, this is like Sean Connery, just a more modern version. So check that out and see if, see if I'm crazy or not. Nice, Lance. Batista. Look at Jeanette. Jeanette, you like tattoos, don't you? You can tell us. Tattoos are awesome. Uh, the biggest. Oh, I'm all over UFC. All over it. I wish I had that. Uh, uh, hang on a minute. Very few people have seen this. I didn't even show this to Kent when he was here. But I'm actually pretty proud of this. Uh, yeah, I'm actually pretty proud of this, uh, this photo. I actually uh, was on the other side of the camera lens for a promo shoot. And... Uh, I don't know. You guys want to see this? Just saying. 
Kent didn't even see this when he was here. But we had fun doing this shoot. So yeah, you, you guys let me know if you want to see this. I won't I won't I won't force you to. You can see it's a big picture. That's pretty cool. No, you didn't, Kent, because I just now remembered where I put it. It was hid. It was hit. It was hid. It did. 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 All right. Let me see if I can get it where the lights don't hit. Right there. Monster Energy. That's your boy right there. MMA photo shoot. Yeah, I was pretty uh, I was pretty excited about this photo. It was actually um, no way, Mister Net. What? I loved. I loved. Yes, man, you are so talented. Uh, but yeah, a good friend of mine. He actually lives down in Florida now. Um, he actually uh, was working with Monster Energy uh, about doing some promo shots and. He got me and some other guys, and we did some MMA stuff. Uh, believe it or not, your boy knows how to do it. And uh, we put on a show, and he took some photos and done the mock-up for Monster Energy. And this is uh, this is the one he gave me. So, yeah, right there. Boom. Boom, right there. <laughs> yeah, it's good times. Good times. That was that was that was that was a that was a fun that was a long day, but that was a fun day. Uh, we shot for. Oh my god, I think that was about a. That was probably a five-hour, six-hour day. Uh, frog, I do know how. Yes, yes, sir, I do. I do have some skills. I have learned a lot in my uh, fifty-six years of life. <laughs> of that, ain't nobody wants no prints of that. I actually have the raw file of, or the file of that. He actually sent it to me, but um, he had that one printed up for me and. Um, that was just that was fun that was a fun day that was a fun fun day it was a long day though oh wow so there you go you guys have seen something that uh very few people have seen you know i don't I had it hung up for a while, then I just took it down because I've got another photo up there of me on my motorcycle. And so <laughs> it's there. The room's here. It's it's. I had to. I had all my work stuff set up today, so I had to take it all down. And so I'm going back into work. Uh, yeah, I, I go to work uh, every day. Um, it's still pretty regimented. I leave here straight to work. Uh, where I work at, you actually have to have a key card to get into the area. Um, so it's uh, pretty, it's really secure. Stay there all day, leave, car, home, repeat. That's my life right now. And then work in the yard on the weekends. So, but anyway, uh, let me see here. Let's see, I'm just uh, Darth. I still haven't seen anything from Instagram on you yet. I haven't seen a direct message yet. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, there it is, right there. Boom. Um, I let me accept this, and I just I'm just replying back to you. Um, I will get that sent out to you. Uh, I will get it um, labeled and get it in the mail tomorrow. 
Um, for this, I use a desktop, um, but for it's just basically a, a, a Windows-based uh, platform. I use a Mac for all of my YouTube stuff and videos and stuff like that to answer that question. But anyway, Darth, I'm not going to say your real name. I would have never guessed that, though. Um, I will get this out to you tomorrow. I hope you enjoy it. Um, definitely let me know when it gets there, but that will go out tomorrow. Promise. Pinky promise right there. It will go out. Um, but there we go. We're done. Stream is over. We're done. Uh, check that. I, oh, yeah, right there. Oh, hang on a minute. I got to check this out. What? Wow. Check out, check out Robin's diorama. Oh my, I mean, check this thing out. That is wicked cool. Look at this thing. That's insane. That's some art right there, people. That is diorama art in the finest right there. That is just wow. That is talent right there. I don't even see that stuff right there. I'm telling you right now. That just makes me awestruck on that kind of talent. Robin Matthew, my friend, you're it. Yeah, Jeff, that's sick. That's sick. That's insane. Um, uh, Christopher, it's going pretty good. I'm actually going to go get some dirt um, this coming weekend. I'm going to add some more dirt to it because uh, it's actually came down. And really uh, got to where I'm, I'm wanting it. So I'm going to add some more dirt to it. Um, the moss that I've added has actually came across pretty good. Uh, thank you, Jeff. So, uh, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be doing some work on it this weekend. Um, but anyway, guys, I'm going to hop off here, go uh, hang out with uh, my wife, and get to uh, go watch some good doctor or something. We're going to watch something, but... As always, thank you so much for hanging out with me tonight. Really do appreciate it. Um, definitely stay home. Don't go out unless you need to. Um, you know, we gotta do what we gotta do. And like I said, I've not went to, I've not went on a toy hunt since I made the video saying I wasn't going, going on a toy hunt. And it's about driving me crazy because I watch social media and I'm seeing everybody picking up all this cool stuff. <sighs> But I'm trying to do my part. That's all we can do. But anyway, guys, I uh, hope y'all have a great rest of the evening. Hope y'all have a great rest of the week. Stay safe. Find some fun stuff to do while you're stuck in the house. There's all kinds of cool stuff you can do. And uh, we'll see you live again on Saturday. Don't forget tomorrow's video, Chase Roulette. I do have some stuff I'm going to be doing some unboxings on. Got some stuff. So going to have videos. But until next time, guys, always remember, toys refresh your soul, and I'll see you next time.